Hello, and welcome back to the Guild Wars Let's Play. Today, we're gonna go and try to get two outposts. I think we can get two outposts today. We can get to Marhan's Grotto and Port Sledge. So basically, we're trying to just fill out the map a little bit and get get some of the surrounding areas. So since we're already at Thunderhead Peak, I filled our squad up, and we're gonna we're gonna head south towards Marhan's Grotto. I know it's south south somewhere from Ice Flow. That's all I really remember. I think it's like down here somewhere. So that's where we're gonna go. So let's go down the ice flow. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Hope your day's been going well. Thank you guys so much for watching the Let's Play, by the way. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've been having a good trip down memory lane. Oh, Mersat! We're gonna have to fight some Mersat. Well, we should be infused, so. -na 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 -na. Let's find out if the NBC is. The NBC should be infused. They we're using the canonical heroes now, like Devana and Sin and, you know, the main characters. We're a, the main RPG group now. We're gonna help Menlo. Get out of here. Bad. See? Now the game knows at this point, it's like, no, we expect that by now that you're uh, fully infused, so. <laughs> the Mersad are everywhere. I mean, I think in canon, they're probably looking for us. Logically. Oh, man. Here, here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun, and I say, just kill them. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The Mursad aren't so scary once you're infused. It's like, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. We do what we want. Okay, I'm starting to get a lot. Ha 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 ha. Pull it back a little bit, alright? Slows down a bit. Wow, we're literally fighting. Okay, I guess we're, we literally are taking on the entire freaking race, apparently. Oh, man. Doing good damage. Come on. Yeah. Which one's healing them? Uh-oh. We're, we're, we're starting to get too many again. Yeah, I think, we, I think we bit off a little bit more than we could chew. Come on. Uh, it took a whole, yeah, a little bit too much for Sot. Good try, though. <laughs> That's, we just literally, it's literally that, that entire, entire group. All of them are Sot. We pulled the entire, we pulled that entire army. And dead. Yeah, so many. All right, just die. We're, we're literally just gonna spawn two feet away, so it's okay. Just die. I mean, we probably could have tried harder by trying to pull back, so I didn't aggro them all at once. But hey, what are you gonna do? We didn't not. That was not too bad of a of a fight. If we had one more elementalist, which is what I normally would bring, I would bring personally two. Like my hero setup is two monks, like two elementalists. Um. Or I guess you'd bring like all necros slash elementalists, whatever battery battery. All right, that was a uh, that was a rough engage. I'm not walking away from all that for all that money though. No siree, not no way, not no how. Now the question is, is is this group gonna disperse? So that we can get maybe just one at a time. Like I can put them like over here. Take out the longbow. Then run back. So I don't know if it's gonna pull if they're like all gonna go or what.
Yeah, see, th this is the safe way. We do, we're doing a thing called a safe. Uh, but they're all coming. That's what I'm talking about. They stay kind of pulled. Don't get too close. When we run out, when we run out there, they it drag. They all come out. It's a little much. Bad. Keep it, Mersot monk. There we go. I love how they, they're just their sound is like very ethereal when they die. Yes. Oh, you're all gonna die. Just because you get us once, you think we're just gonna walk away? Alright. Maybe you're right. Maybe we will. I don't got time to mess with you. I don't want to waste my time with you. We're on a mission to try to find an outpost. Not kill every Mersat and this way next week till Wednesday or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It got me so frazzle frazzle. I'm just trying to get to out. I just want outposts. I feel like I explored the map. You know, I feel like that's not a huge, huge ask. All right, let's. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try to take him out right here. Holy shit, that hurts so bad. Why did I do that? I'm in, I'm in ever not, ever never ending agonizing pain. Please help me. Oh no, oh no, this hurts so bad. Please help. Pain is never ceasing. Forever darkness. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Mersot, got a Mersot token. I remember what. Yeah, Mersot token. Oh, what's that even mean, I wonder? How do you have a Mersot token? Is it like a chess piece? Like part of their armor? Is it part of them of themselves? Like what makes a Mer what, what is a Mersot token? Oh no, I fucked up. Because we're going to run in here. Okay, good. I thought the other I thought the other group was gonna come and get us, and we're gonna get double sandwiched between two ices. Last thing I need. Double ice imp murder. No. Goodbye, ice imp. Okay. Let's see if we can go down this way. Probably not, right? Or can we walk across this river? We might be able to walk across. It's ice. It's frozen. Mamma mia, pizza. Uh, brain freeze. Brain blast. Ice up. Oh, I stopped on icy ground, so auto GG. Stupid ice slows me down so much. Damn it. Let's just run down here. See if we, where we going. Oh, on a claw across a frozen wasteland. Hmm. Oh no! Go for the monk! Go for the monk! Go for the monk! Thank you. It's like, go for the monk! Kill the monk! Here we go, another Shiver Peak chest I can't open. Such a jabroni. Nice. Double Mersato. Uh, usually, things like Frigid Heart Collectors, that's honestly, it's probably where I need to go. It's where the Frigid Heart Collector is. Measure, ow, ow, ow. I'm just trying to make sure there's no quote healer quote Mes Mersot monks the worst kind 
The worst kind of monks, the mesmer kind. Ooh, another well, I'm dropping Rasaw tokens like they're freaking candy. Oh, like the other ship over there. Eldrum. Alright. Nope, ice imps. More ice imps. Everybody's favorite. Oh man, but I get to kill Skit Skizzle? Know what that is? Skit Skizzle? Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. This actually looks fucking horrible. Can I even get over there? No, this looks like a giant dead end trap. This literally looks like a dead This looks like a trap. I don't think I can get there from over here. I'm pretty sure that this is a dead end, and if I go over there, I'm gonna just. Fight all that for no fucking reason. So oh, never mind. I don't think that's I don't think that's the ticket. Don't think that's our I don't think that's where we want to go. So what it looks like to me is we need to backtrack across here to this pivot point. And we need to go this way. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the way to go. Uh, this can make the most sense. Alright, well then while we're going, I can ID some of this stuff. Let's do right over there. Anything else we need to inspect? Oh, you. Nothing else really. Alright. Salvage time. Yeah, four iron. I like that. Yes, give me the iron. Never have too much iron. It's worth the most. Yes. Alright, continue the game, we're back. Alright, it looks like we are gonna have to go deal with these Mersot, though. Mersot Monk! You're gonna pay for what you've done to your crimes against humanity! Got him. He's, he's learned the error of his ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are so cool. It's like, oh, Spectre Agony, Spectre Agony. <laughs> no. Screw you and your Spectre Egg. I'll show you what for. Oh, oh, cool. Just in time to fight another whole big wave of Mersot. Did we show them what for it means to be? Yes. Yes, drop those sweet, sweet AoEs, buddy. Yeah. Now, see, that's a perfect body block, and, and the Mersat just stood there and took it. They didn't even try to run. So arrogant and cocky. The last one tries to flee. Look at that. Not even worth worrying about. Don't even trip, dog. Don't even trip, man. There you go. Look, this whole this whole thing would have been faster if I just went this way first. Well, what does Turlo Oaken Spear have? Hopefully, he's like, I want Mersot tokens. No, frigid hearts. Alright. Now this grotto uh, actually means there's probably nobody here, right? Yeah, there's no reason to be here. Um, this grotto is holds a special place in my heart because my old friend who I no longer get this he's he's passed away, so I no longer obviously get to see him. Um, but he and I played Guild Wars a lot, and he was a good friend of mine. And this was his favorite outpost to... He would just come here and log out here. He liked this one. Um, I think he liked it because it was the only outpost that had this 
this icy ground effect on it in the outpost, and he just really liked it. Also, this is the place where you can get like 15k armor, the really fancy stuff from this guy over here. But yeah, he would always log off here. This was his favorite place to be. Yeah, see, this is elite char, elite gladiator. You know, the elite stuff, elite, elite Templar. Holy shit. 50 iron, 5 Geldermore steel, 15 platinum. Oh man, elite Templar. That's, that's just cray. That is crazy. But yeah. Now let's see what it says. Marhin's Grotto. Once, dwarves from all over the Shiver Peaks made their trek here to barter with Mahin the Mighty, a weaponsmith who was reputed for making the best axes in all the land. After he passed into the Great Forge, this grotto was named in his honor. So, yeah. This will always, this little grotto here will always hold a place in my heart. A little, so nice. And, yeah, and it's the place where you can get 15k armor. Pretty neat. Alright, well that's one outpost. And then now the other one, I believe, is south of Drachnir's Forge. So this is our new, the new plan. But I gotta add everyone first. Of course I do. Now I have to get the non-essential NPCs. These aren't story-driven characters. What is this? A filler episode? Alright. Oh, while we're running to the door, I guess I can salvage some more stuff. Wish there was a better way to do this. Maybe there is, and I just don't know it, but... Here we go. And I believe Port Sledge should not be far. It literally should be, like, right around here, I think. Very, very close. Whoa, very bright. Blindingly bright. Okay. And the thing, too, is, like, even with these outposts, that's still not all of them. There are still technically a few other ones to get. But I figured that we can get the... This is a good place to start. Um... Interesting fact about this place, since again, my main was a was a ranger. Uh, the first elite skill I ever captured was out here, and it was poison arrow for rangers. Uh, it's an arrow. It's like an it's it's a an, it, it, basically you do an attack. It does damage and it applies poison, but it's not a preparation. So you can apply. You could add like another preparation on top of it to do poison and like. Let's say you had barbed arrows or something. You could do poison and bleeding at the same time. It was a, it was a good, it was a good, uh, you know, beginner's elite. It worked out well. Until I, until I eventually got Barrage. Barrage was the good one, but I didn't get Barrage till later. You know, especially back then, I didn't know, we didn't know every single thing about the game. We didn't know where everything was. We didn't know what was the best things to get. Because Barrage on its own actually sounded kind of bad. Like, you can't use any preparations. It's like, ooh, that seems kind of kind of rough. But, of course, after factions came out with spirit weapons and a whole bunch of other things were added to the game, you realize that, nah, Barrage is great, even without without the prepper. It needs no preparation because it's fucking OP as is. And if you added preparations, it'd be so strong. So, like, that's fair. You know? I, I, can, re I can respect why... Just, you know, but still. It's a good time. Good times were had by all. Alright, so we can see, we can literally see it. Port Sledge. I'm using a Port Sledge. <laughs> Looks like we might have to... Uh, you know what? Uh, are we gonna run it? You wanna do an old-fashioned warrior run? Shh. I want... I'm using a port sledge. I'm using a port sledge. <laughs> what about Mag Ironwall, who's just sort of chilling out here in rags? Not even... Not even cold, man? Not even cold? Meh. 
All right, port sledge, let's go. A port sledge. I, I, I like this outpost just because it just seemed different with the ice on the floor, like melted and everything. And you have to cross these little bridges. Uh, this was a personal one. I liked this outpost. Nothing much to it. Just a standard little outpost. But I like it. Another skills guy, of course, of course. Again, back then, a skills trainer was actually cool because you might get something different. But, port sledge. This bustling port supplies the dwarves with much of their goods and supplies. The dock workers are kept busy with the constant flow of ships coming and going, and the market is always filled with both exotic and practical wares. The cold temperatures, heavy snowfall, and frozen waters make no difference to the hardy dwarves, but travelers are wise to bring heavy coats and plenty of warm blankets. Yeah. But bustling, huh? <laughs> it's like, no one here. But no, port sledge, good stuff. Well, it's for world building, you know? World building. Um, but yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. That's two more areas fulfilled. Uh, we might actually go on a run to try to get a few more areas, actually, before we actually take on Thunderhead Keep. Uh, Thunderhead Keep is the turning point that leads us to the end game. Once we do Thunderhead Keep, we have three more missions over here in the Ring of Fire. We're, we're closing in on the end of... Of Guild Wars 1 of Prophecies. Prophecies itself is uh, getting close to the end. We're almost, we're almost there. Uh, just a little bit more to go. Well, I will catch you in the next one, you guys. Till then, thanks for watching. Stay super.